my name is Adrian Smith and I make carbon fibre bikes using 3D printed moulds in my garage. Why? That is the question. It's, it's a question I've asked myself a few times. Uh, I think there's lots of reasons really. One reason is why not? Just to see if it can be done. And it can by the way. Another reason it's, it's incredibly rewarding. It's really nice to conceive of a product and then carry it through not just the design where you sort of realize it on paper or on a computer screen but then to take that to the next step and have the finished part in your hands and even to be able to sort of ride it. In terms of the process the start is the idea what you want what you want it to do how you want it to look that kind of thing draw that out on a CAD package make a 3D model from that model you can then draw moulds that you're going to need to make the part. I then um, use those 3D models of the moulds um, to export to the 3D printer. This is my new 3D printer. A couple of years ago I bought one, um, bought a kit from the States and made it up. It had quite a small build volume so it's like 8 inches cubed. Pretty quickly I realised it wasn't quite up to what I needed it to do. So I realised I was going to have to build my own, a bigger one. Um, so that's what this is basically. Making the bikes and the moulds takes a while. There's a lot of waiting for, for example, for the moulds to print. It can take several hours for each one, but the printer runs off my phone, so I can keep an eye on it whilst we're having a cup of tea. So this is the carbon fibre step of the process. We're laying up the fibres into the mould, as you can see. Um, it's pre-preg carbon fibre, which means it's fabric that's already impregnated with uh, the resin. Cure that in the oven in a vacuum bag or with an inflation bladder, whichever, whichever part you're making. Got to take the part out of the mould, which can be tricky sometimes. The part usually needs cleaning up then. Smooth it off, polish it up maybe, and then you assemble the piece if, if you're going to get it painted. That's then applying the stickers. And then you build it up and ride it. My current bike, my current favourite bike, it's um, Hardtail 29er that I made a few months ago. It's riding really well, it's really light, really fast. I thought it was about time I got in on this uh, newfangled wheel size. It's a real novelty, it's like getting a new toy. So, I mean, everybody probably gets that, don't they, when they pick it up from a shop, but if you've done it yourself and you know the problems you've come across and what you had to do to overcome them, and I think that reward is a hundred times more powerful and it's a fantastic feeling.